I've been wanting to make this video for a very, very long time, but I continually make it longer than I'm trying to make it. So this is going to be a very, very fast video where we go over 10 plus things that all photographers, beginners to advanced should know. I have long form videos on almost all of these, but we're gonna go through this really, really fast, so I apologize in advance. Will Simpson here and welcome back to the channel. Once we get through this video, make sure you go check out the description because I have a bunch of goodies, including a Lightroom editing course that covers everything you need to know about Lightroom. But first, here we go into the video. Let's get started. The first thing is the white balance tool. Quickly set your white balance by pressing W on the keyboard, selecting a neutral color, and that will give you optimum white balance for that photo. The next thing is to set optimum white and black points on your image. Let's reset these really quick. Press and hold Alt or Option, click the white slider, slide until you see a little bit of white, then back it down. Click and hold the black slider, slide until you see black, and then back it down. I like to go a little bit more black, so just right there, and you have optimum white and black point. The next thing is the adjusting tool for the HSL. So if you push a color too much, sometimes you can get banding where the colors around it that are similar aren't changing, so it corrupts the colors. All you have to do is click this little eyedropper tool. You can click where the colors are and you can slide it up and down to adjust the saturation, the hue, the luminance. You can even do this on the uh, tone curve right here and you can adjust the tone curve just like that. Now I'm gonna undo that, but you can do that on that tool as well. Next, we're gonna go into the crop tool. Now you can press this button here or you can just simply press R on the keyboard. Now let's say you wanted to change your layout. Well, if you wanted to change the layout of the actual grid, press O on the keyboard and you can change your grid. Even more, if you get to a grid where you wanna adjust how it's showing, press Shift O and you can actually rotate that grid. Next, did you know that you can adjust your image by clicking on the actual histogram and sliding left to right? For example, if I click on the midtones here and slide left, I'm gonna adjust the exposure brighter. If I slide right, I'm gonna adjust the exposure darker. If I go to my shadows, click on there, I'm gonna adjust my shadows, brighter or darker. Same with the highlights, same with the whites and same with the blacks, simply by clicking on the histogram itself and sliding left and right. Now let's say you have noise in your image. Well, let's go down to the detail tab. Let's go ahead and just add some luminance noise reduction here and add some sharpening because otherwise this won't work. Now let's say you want to mask and you only want to apply it to the edges of your parts of your image. Click the masking slider, push and hold Alt or Option, and then you can slide it up. Black is concealing where the sharpening is and white is where your sharpening is. So everything that's black is getting the noise reduction, everything that's white is getting the sharpening and you can adjust this as much or as little as you want. Now, if you wanna remove some things from your image, you can easily press this button here or you can just press Q on the keyboard and you have accessed your removal tools. Now you then have to go through and you can click the one you want, but that is an easy way to open and close your removal tool in Lightroom. Here's a fun one. Let's say you wanna rotate your image. Well, press Command or Control and the brackets left and right and you can just simply rotate your images quick and easy. Now, if you've ever wanted to make sure your images are very similar to each other and you have multiple ones, there's an easy way to do this. Simply click the image down below, press shift and click the other images that you want. Then press in on your keyboard and it will open up all of them together. That way you can compare them. Now, let's say they are together like this. Well, if you were to take this one, let's say give it a four star, let's say you wanted this one a four star, and let's say you wanted this one a four star. So you add stars to these, then you sort by stars right here, then they're all together, press and select them all, press in on the keyboard, and now you can compare those as well. This is an easy way to do this if you have multiple images in between the images that you are editing and you haven't organized them yet. Here's a cool one that I use all the time. If you push and hold command or control, depending on if you're using Mac or PC, you will get a little plus sign with a box. You can now draw a box over where you want to zoom in and that quickly allows you to zoom into parts of the image. Now, once you've zoomed in, let's say let's zoom in right here on the top of the mountain, I've zoomed in this amount. If I let go of command or control and click again, I will zoom out. But now I can click anywhere on the image and I will zoom in that same amount. To reset the zoom amount, simply push command or control again and adjust your zoom amount. And finally, let's say you just finished editing an image. You have tons of other images that are very similar that you want to look the same. All you have to do is make sure that image is selected, press shift, click to the last image that you want to have that edit, go down here, press sync, 
select the adjustments that you want use all of them or any of them that you have made adjustments to press synchronize and lightroom will go through and edit all of those images for you saving you tons of time so that wraps up my quick multiple tips it was more than 10 tips for pretty much anybody who edits in lightroom i hope you enjoyed it so hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already and actually if you want to check out two new videos of mine here are two which are i think you will very much enjoy and with that i bid you adieu Later.